everybody. Welcome back to Corrections for the week of August 9th. We missed you guys, and we're looking forward to getting right into it. I, very strange for me, but I want to start off by apologizing to Donald Trump for an error I made in this week's Closer Look. We talked about how when he was a USFL team owner, the USFL sued the NFL uh, for an antitrust violation, and they sued for 1.7 a uh, million dollars, or billion dollars, I guess it must have been 1.7 billion dollars, and they received a dollar. They were awarded a dollar. And we sort of made fun of Donald Trump for the fact that he was awarded a dollar. But I made a mistake because in antitrust cases, uh, damages are tripled. So in the end, they got three dollars. <laughs> so you are good at business. <laughs> I, I, I referenced uh, one of my favorite shows, Hot Ones, where people eat uh, you know, hot, uh, progressively hotter chicken wings and said no one would do that show twice. Some people have done it twice. Steve-O's done it twice, of course. Um, Eric Andre's done it twice, so I apologize that I uh, got that wrong. I also said that as soon as I did Hot Ones, the next interview I did was with Terry Gross uh, at Fresh Air because I wanted to do uh, an interview where I wasn't worried that I have to excuse myself because I was gonna my pants. And someone said, hey, those are, you do Terry Gross over the phone so you wouldn't have to excuse yourself. I think even if I was on the phone with someone, I wouldn't just like I wouldn't take advantage of the fact that we were on the phone to be like, I'm gonna my pants. Uh, but it is true that you do fresh air, you do not do fresh air in person, unless you're Seth Myers, pal. You guys should start doing uh, apologies. <laughs> Didn't want to hold up an art card, guys, because it's um, we talked about my fingernails. I don't even want to hold up my hands. They're bad. You guys said I have terrible, I needed a manicure, and I tried really hard over the hiatus to stop chewing my nails, and it didn't go well. And I really, my goal is to have really beautiful hands, should we ever hold up, as Shoemaker calls it, Lady Emmy. And, but I, the one thing I'm not gonna do is what all my colleagues in the late night feel, I will not use a hand model. You think when Kimmel holds up an album, you take a, you think those are his hands? Grow up. Um, we mentioned the song Gasolina and said it was a Pitbull song. This was before the break and it's just been a relentless two weeks of people telling us it's a, da it's a Daddy Yankee song. My favorite phrasing of it was what gringo on your staff <laughs> thought it was a Pitbull. Se llama Alex Bays. <laughs> El un hombre grande, pero no joven. Uh, Pitbull is on a remix of Gasolina. You, and Bays is always about the remixes. <laughs> like when there's a new remix of a popular song, we don't even expect to see him in the office. He loves he loves to take an original and just remix it and make it better, unless it's one of his jokes. <laughs> mm -hmm. We talked about uh, Ronnie Jackson, who was uh, the president's doctor, Dr. Ronnie, who's now a congressman. And we put up a key uh, where he was playing a flute. And this is another one where a lot of people got to us. Um, he was holding the flute uh, to the left. I, flutes only go to the right. Uh, I did not know that, and I don't want to know any more. <laughs> I will take your word for it, and let's end it there. <sighs> I can't believe we got to put up this graphic again. Um, this is now a month ago. We put up a graphic of me getting a drive through appendectomy. Alex, can we put it up real quick? And originally, First thing we heard was, that's not where the appendectomy scar was. Next thing we heard was, you should be wearing a mask. Next thing we heard was, you're driving the wrong way through the drive-thru based on the arrow. 
And then finally someone said, why do you have a guitar? <laughs> and like, we've talked about this, that the graphics team, like, they like to get in trouble. <laughs> they like, they're just like little stinkers. <laughs> and I heard this and I went down, I'm like, why'd you guys put a guitar in there? You know I don't play guitar, right? And they were like, yeah, we know. <laughs> I was like, also, did you know flutes only go to the right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Talked about uh, that if Trump, this is based on the whole Four Seasons Hotel and Four Seasons landscaping. We had a joke, if Trump told Rudy to do something at a Waldorf Astoria, he would do it at a Walmart in Astoria. There's no Walmart in Astoria. I wrote that joke. I checked, I saw, I knew there was no Walmart in Astoria. Still told it. <laughs> knitting, we, we said, <laughs> talked about a grandmother saying, hey, it's knitting time. Um, put down that Grand Theft Auto and help me crochet this blanket. Well, <laughs> knitting and crocheting are two very different things, I've been told. And I wanna read a, a comment someone had about it. And I, I don't wanna read the first, I'm not gonna read the first sentence, I'm gonna go back and pick up the first sentence. Um, someone wrote, uh, knitting and crocheting are completely different. And that lady is working a sleeve or a sock, definitely not an Afghan, definitely not crochet, Sloppy work, guys. The first sentence was, are you kidding me? <laughs> Definitely not lining up with my stereotype of the knitting community. It's like watching a closer look. The <laughs> Talked about somebody wearing a Squirrel, one of those flying squirrel suits, cliff diving. I was told uh, that would be base diving. We talked about Jeff Bezos and uh, jetting to space, jetting off to space. Someone said, you don't jet to space, you rocket to space. And you can <laughs> off to space. <laughs> oh. Someone said that, hey, that like during a correction, sometimes I hold my arm like this and it looks like I'm gonna dislocate it. And that's, that is what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm trying to like put the discomfort here to distract from this. <laughs> so we have um, these really, this is for jackal mugs that we've been making. Um, these are not available in the NBC store because NBC hates money. And <laughs> so this one we put up, and these are just jackal paws we found online. Let's look at it real quick again. I didn't realize there were two different ones. Um, I guess this is, uh, that's the front of a jackal, and that's the back of the jackal. And uh, nobody commented, but then we, this is the, the updated one. And then someone said, hey, I didn't mind the first time. But that wouldn't be how a jackal would type because that would be one front paw and one back paw. So that would imply that the jackal's lying on its side typing. Okay. <laughs> I love that someone's like, I'm, I'll go with you on this for a jackal. But come on, dude. That's, that's stupid. I gotta uh, confess, I'm like ashamed of myself. Went day drinking with Lord, amazing. So much fun. And then we did these paintings. We just tried to recreate the cover of one of her albums in these paintings. And then we did on the late night Twitter account, basically said who painted it better and Lord won. Not like a giant, but like 53% to 47%. And then I'm deeply ashamed because then I did a second poll on the Sea Captain Poll's Twitter account, which 
I thought would have less Lord fans. And I phrased it in a way that I really wanted people to vote for me. And I did win. But I won by less than Lord won in the first vote. So I just want to say right now, Lord won fair and square. And I apologize for like trying to rig it. I'm ashamed of myself. We talked about honey-baked ham stores <laughs> and how I park across the street from them because I can't believe there are people just walking in and buying a whole ass ham. A couple things. One, a lot of people defending honey-baked hams, being delicious, saying I was out of bounds on that. But then someone wrote this about whole ass hams. Correction. Technically, whole ass ham is redundant because ham comes from an area of the pig that could arguably be considered its ass. And also, it would only be a half ass ham because it's only one half of the pig's ass. That's poetry. <laughs> like, I read that and I was like, this is why, this is why we do this. Because someday you're just going to be strolling, scrolling through, you know, a YouTube comment. You're going to read this beautiful sentence. Two sentences. <laughs> also, I feel like we're pretty committed to Late Night with Seth Meyers, but I'd call this show Half-Ass Sam. <laughs> All right. I think that's about everything, and see you guys next week. <laughs>